All right, guys, today we are going to talk about the iAcademy Holiday Sign Challenge. Get ready because some fun is coming your way. So here's how the challenge works. Your challenge is to find the most creative way or the most creative place to display one of our iCabin local yard signs. Those of you who are here on campus on Tuesday probably help put them together. Once you have selected a place that you're going to display this sign, your job is to take a photo of yourself and sign the photo also in that creative location or in that creative way. Once you have that picture, send it to me. My email's right here to officially enter the contest. You may enter this contest more than once, but you just have to choose a new creative place or a new creative way to take the photo. Well, this is a contest, so that means there's got to be rules, right? Your sign must be displayed in public for people to see. However, if the sign is displayed on personal property, meaning somebody's yard or business, you must have permission from that owner to display that sign. Remember, things like streets and corners of roads, those are public domain and you can totally put things there. You must be in your photo for your photo to qualify. And in order for the submission to qualify for the contest, it must be school appropriate. That includes language, signs, dress, appropriate for school fees. Now this is the fun part. Here's what you're waiting for. We're going to have a couple of different categories in which you can win a prize for this challenge. The three categories are going to be creative location, creative photo, with props, decorations, whatever, and then the furthest um, away, the furthest distance away from Homestead campus. Then there will be one grand prize that we're going to call the triple threat, which means it, it qualifies in all three of those categories. Not only is it in a creative location, it's also a creative um, way of doing it, and it's for this from Homestead campus. If you win in these categories, you will be eligible to win gift cards to a few different locations, as well as one amazing grand prize for the triple threat winner. That's to be announced the day of, but trust me, it's good. So here are some examples we wanted to show you. Notice how the dude on the right is holding our sign. Yes, it is creative. Yes, it's a little bit different of a way to display a yard sign, but what is it missing? Well, it's missing being outdoors for the public and people to see. If you notice on the right, Miss Amy did everything correctly. She put it somewhere public. She's in the picture. She uses the squirrel and Christmas decorations for the creative flair. The, the sign with Miss Amy would be what qualifies for this contest. So here's when everything is due. Submissions are due by 5 p.m. on Monday, December 19th. Prizes and winners of the contest will be distributed on Tuesday, December 20th. We will be streaming this ceremony, award ceremony, if you will, live in both middle school and high school views because this contest is for all iCademy students, both kids who come on site and kids who are virtual. You guys can pick up yard signs at any time in the, at the front desk here at Homestead Campus. And if you live far away from Homestead Campus and you still want to participate, let us know and we can work out some sort of drop-off. We are so excited to see your creativity at work. Let's go ahead and get started. And as always, let us know if you have any questions. Happy signage!